enhance, enhance, enhance. Ouch. Hey gang, had a recent request, somebody asking about trouble with their elbow pain. The elbow is a very simple joint. However, pain in the elbow can be very complex. Let's dig into it. Today we are gonna start with elbow pain on the outside of the elbow. So when I say the outside of the elbow, uh, what we call anatomical position with our thumb pointed out to the side, would be the lateral side of our elbow. Usually what causes this pain is wrist extensors. The wrist extensors and finger extensors insert on the lateral aspect of your humerus, your upper arm bone. Wrist extensors perform this motion and finger extensors perform this motion. It's a complex group of muscles, but they all share that same origin right there on the outside of the elbow. Therapy for this condition would include manual therapy, chiropractic adjustments, dry needling. Manual therapy would both target the insertion point of those wrist extensors as well as the muscle bellies of the wrist extensors. Manual therapy would target the insertion point of the tendon of those wrist extensors, the tendon of the wrist extensors and finger extensors, and the muscle bellies of the wrist extensors and finger extensors. The goal of the therapy is to help the tendon rejoin with the bone to encourage recovery of the tendon, decrease the muscle tone, and create more pliability with the muscle bellies. It's less common for hinge joints like the elbow and the knee to pop out of alignment because they are a more stable joint. However, it is a good idea to get a chiropractor to check out the alignment of these joints, especially if other therapies aren't working. Final step in the process is to use dry needling. Dry needling will both target tissues that don't get as much blood flow like the tendon and the insertion point, as well as target the muscle bellies to increase blood flow and nutrients to the tissues, as well as get them to relax and release pain-killing chemicals both locally and systemically. The at-home program that we often send patients home with is pretty simple. Number one is a gorilla stretch. Let me show you how to do it. A gorilla stretch, you put the back of your hands down on the table. The key is you wanna keep your fist all the way closed so we also target the finger extensors as well. You will straighten out your elbows as much as you can and hold it for two minutes. There's a lot of different ways that we can smash into our wrist extensors. A very simple version of it is to put a ball, a lacrosse ball on a table and then flex the wrist and extend the wrist. Hold that for two minutes, as much pressure as you can tolerate. I'm Dr. Jamie Jakes, thanks for watching.